In the mid-70s, a bizarre product took the nation by storm, captivating millions of people. It was the Pet Rock, a simple rock with googly eyes and a cozy cardboard box. This unassuming object became a cultural sensation, symbolizing the absurdity and excess of the era. But how did a rock become a must-have item? Let's dive into the fascinating history of the Pet Rock. The story begins in 1975, when advertising executive Gary Dahl had a stroke of genius. During a casual conversation with friends about the challenges of owning a pet, Dahl jokingly suggested a rock as the perfect companion. To his surprise, his friends loved the idea, and thus, the pet rock was born. Dahl's vision was simple yet brilliant. He transformed ordinary rocks into unique pets by giving them names and personalities. Each pet rock came in a custom-designed box, complete with a straw bed, breathing holes, and care instructions. Dahl spared no expense when it came to the packaging, but the rocks themselves cost only one cent each. He even included a 32-page training manual titled The Care and Training of Your Pet Rock. This manual, filled with jokes and puns, provided instructions on how to raise and interact with the pet rock. While teaching the rock to sit and stay was easy, rollover required a little extra help. Commands like come, stand, and shake hands proved nearly impossible, but attack was surprisingly simple. The pet rock craze reached its peak during the Christmas season of 1975. Millions of people rushed to buy these low-maintenance pets, and the pet rock became a pop culture phenomenon. It appeared on TV shows, made headlines in newspapers, and even graced the cover of Time magazine. Celebrities like Johnny Carson and Ronald Reagan proudly owned pet rocks, further fueling the craze. However, like all fads, the pet rock's popularity eventually waned. By February 1976, sales had declined, and the pet rock was discounted. Despite the decline, Dahl had sold over 1 million pet rocks, making him a millionaire. With his newfound wealth, Dahl opened a bar named Carry Nations in California. He continued working in advertising but chose to avoid interviews due to harassment and threats. Looking back, Dahl sometimes wonders if his life would have been simpler without the pet rock. And that, my friends, is the rise and fall of the pet rock, a truly remarkable and unforgettable chapter in pop culture history.